pray in line with your word you hear us first john 5 14 that this is the confidence we have that when we pray in line with your word you hear us thank you my father thank you my father we thank you because this is a day of solution it's a day of answers a day of testimony we want to bless you want to bless you you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You got times and seasons in your hands you caught forth light out of darkness you don't need a man to be the God you are you have chosen Call me your own. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Oh, you are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. We're going to pray. We're going to pray in line with the word of God. What gives speed to answers is when you are praying in line with the word of God. You are praying in line with scriptures. You are praying in line with what God has said. In Luke chapter 7, in Luke chapter 7, if you take your reading from verse 11, the Bible says it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain and many of his disciples went with him and much people. We're going to be praying some verses from Luke chapter 7. The Bible says Jesus entered a city that was called Nain. The word Nain means prosperity. The word Nain means prosperity. So Jesus entered a city of prosperity and met a woman in tears met a woman that was crying met a woman that was in pain met a woman that was mourning how can jesus enter a city of prosperity this woman was in a city of prosperity and yet she was crying a city where others were rejoicing where others were flourishing she was crying that is the spirit of controversy contradiction there are people no matter the abundance everyone enjoy when it comes to their turn it is pain no matter the testimony and everything others share they never see anything good let them be in a country where others are favored let them be in a country where there is good tidings where there is joy being spread out to everybody they must have reasons to cry we are going to pray against the spirit of controversy the spirit of contradiction controversy is where you are going through what is contrary to the expectations that you desire we are going to pray against controversy right now the bible says in isaiah chapter 34 verse 8 he said this is the year of the lord's reward and say you love the lord's vengeance and the recompense for the controversy of zion in Deuteronomy 25, if you read verse 1, the Bible says there's a controversy between two men. Thou shalt condemn the wicked and thou shalt justify the righteous. So God is a God that's against controversy. In Ezekiel 44, if you read verse 24, he says in controversy thou shalt stand in judgment. The only force that silences controversy is the force of judgment. When you are grown enough to be married and you are not married, it is controversy. When you are a graduate, you have no job, it is controversy you are healthy you are married you are healthy there's nothing medically wrong even if there is something medically wrong and you are believing God for a child no child 
it is controversy we are going to lift up our voice today and you will see after me my father my father, my father, my father. loud and clear my father my father, my father as my father. i begin to pray begin to every pray. spirit of controversy every spirit of controversy in my life in my life in my destiny in my destiny in my affairs, in my affairs expire by fire 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 and fire prayers because of Pratibalaba, Ranta Gabrasha, Rakete Sokapa, Maloka Tekala, Ranka Sokala, Rekete, Rako Sokala, every spirit of controversy, spirit of contradiction, in my life, Rasa Kata, Rika Tupa, Rake Satupa, Rase Katopa, Rase Katopa, Rase Katopa, Rase Katopa, Rase Katopa, Rase I'm <laughs> 
The Bible says that she entered the city, he entered the city called Nain, and many of the people was If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. <laughs> Early morning prayer to make you die. Say, my father, my father! A moment of healing and warfare. If there's a man to pray, wonders without number with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. The Lord told me from April 3rd to April 12th, the Lord said I should not go anywhere. What we are doing is 5 to 6 a.m., one hour. You are not coming to church, we are doing it online. 5 to 6 a.m. One hour prayers pulling down altars. The Bible says in Job 9 10 that it does wonders without numbers. So we're going to be having wonders without numbers. 5 to 6 a.m. Online, all over the world. Our focus is to pull down altars, to charter kingdoms, connect to us. We want to we want to we want to trouble hell. Date 3rd through 12th April 2021 by 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. daily. Live on Celebration TV. If there's a man to pray, your prayers shall be answered. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Early morning prayer to make you die. Say, my father, my father! A moment of healing and warfare. If there's a man to pray, wonders without number with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. The Lord told me from April 3rd to April 12th, the Lord said I should not go anywhere. What we are doing is fire. So he entered the city. The Bible says, as he entered the city, he met a woman, and the lady was in tears. We're going to take this second prayer. The Lord, I will not cry in the midst of blessing. I will not cry in the midst of blessing. There are people who are always met with bad news, bad luck. I will not cry in the midst of blessing. 
while others have been blessed i will not experience tears say my father my father my father in the name of jesus as i begin to pray i will not cry in the midst of blessing i will not cry in the midst of blessing open your mouth and fire prayer to pray there is a God to answer if there is a woman to pray there is a God to answer if there's a boy to pray there is a God to answer if there's a girl to pray there's a God to answer if there's a man to pray there's a God to answer the blessing the Bible says he said and when he came nigh to the gates of the city every city is controlled via a gate Every city, every life is controlled. The, if you handle the gates that control your life, then you can determine what happens to your life. Every life is regulated by some gates. Don't forget, the Bible says, when Jesus Christ ascended, the Bible says he first descended to hell. And in Psalm chapter 24, verse 7 and verse 9, when he confronted the gate, he said, lift up your head, O ye gates. And being lifted, the everlasting doors. Everlasting doors are doors also called ancient doors. In other translation, ancient doors. Ancient doors mean that doors that resisted your father. 
Doors that resisted your mother. Doors that were closed to your parents. Closed to others before you. Closed to others who went ahead of you. These are doors that were closed to them. And these doors were closed to them because of some gates that control them. They were gates that control them. In Psalm 107 verse 16, the Bible says, God that he has broken the gates of bath and cut asunder the bars of iron. In Acts chapter 12, if you read verse 10, the Bible says, when Peter came to the iron gates, your deliverance is not permanent, it's not complete until you have dealt with the gate. There is a gate. In Genesis 22, if you read verse 17, God was speaking to Abraham. He said that in blessing I will bless you, in multiplying I will multiply thy, thy seed as the stand of, as the stars of the heaven, and the sand which is upon the seed shore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. There are gates. The Bible says, He came nigh unto the gate. He came nigh unto the gate. He came nigh unto there is a gate that we must pull down. We must pull down the gates. We must pull down the gate. The Bible is speaking concerning the blessed man in Psalm 127. When it gets to verse 5, he said, Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them, for they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. In the gate. So we need to confront the evil gates that regulates, that manipulates something. When the enemies are against something, the Bible says in Judges 16, verse 2. They laid all night at the gate. They waited for him. All night at the gate of the city. You will lift up your voice and say, My father, my father, my father, my father, my father as, I to pray, as I begin to pray, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus every gate, every gate regulating, my life, regulating my life, every gate, every gate manipulating, my life, manipulating my life, every gate, every gate legislating, legislating evil decisions decision, decision, against my destiny. Against my destiny. As, I pray today, as I pray today, you are silent. Is terminated. Your assignment, your assignment is terminated. Your assignment is terminated. Your assignment is terminated. Put your mouth and fire prayer.
of Jesus. Amen. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Share now. Share. Inform somebody. Let them know that gates are being pulled down. God is pulling down gates. Begin to share it now. Tell people. Tell people it's time to pray. God is saying gates must be pulled down. Begin to share this link to your friends. Share this to family members who you are concerned about. Your brother you have been praying for for a long time. Share this to him. Let's rise up to pray. Because we have to stop the conspiracies and the, cons you know, the controversies of hell. The Bible says, and he came nigh to the gate of the city. Behold, there was a dead man. Dead man. Dead man. You see, the worst the devil can do is to kill. But one thing the devil forgets is that anything that the devil has taken life out of, God can bring it to life. He calls himself the resurrection and the life. There was a dead man. We're going to pray. Every dead in my life every dead virtue in my life come alive every dead virtue come alive every dead virtue come alive my dead dignity come alive my dead business come alive my dead marriage come alive say my father my father, my father, my father. as I begin to pray, begin to pray. In, the in the name of Jesus every dead virtue every dead in my life come alive come alive every dead virtue you. Every death in my life, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Let put your mouth on fire. 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 Let put your mouth on fire.
In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Bible says, and there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. She was a widow. The devil attacked her marriage and attacked her home, attacked her son. We're going to lift up our voice in prayer. This woman in marriage, she couldn't escape attack. Her only son, I'm sure when the husband died, she did everything to protect her son. Because she knew that the boy was going to be the next. But there was no way. There are people, they go through all-round battles. All-round battles. The Bible says in Amos chapter 5, verse 19, it says, it's like a man who ran from a lion and a bear met him. He ran from the bear and ran into his house. As he put his hand on the wall to rest, a serpent beat him. Meaning, externally, internally, there is battles all around. He's going through battles. You are going through, there are battles everywhere. There are people, they look at their marriage now, there's a battle. Their health, there's a question. Their finances, jeopardy. Their children can't make ends meet. Their siblings scattered. No definition, no headway. Is the spirit of all round battle. You will lift up your voice. Please share.
Send this to your brother, your sister, who you are concerned about. And let them join in prayer. Because if you can lift up your voice to pray, there is a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. If there's a woman to pray, there's a God to answer. If there is someone to pray, there is a God to answer. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray, as as I begin to pray, pray. in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of all round battle, every spirit of all round battle, your time is up. Your time is up. I terminate your assignment. In my life and destiny, open your mouth and fire your prayer.
There's a man to pray there's a god to answer if there's a man to pray there's a god to answer you say this after me there's a man to pray there's a god to answer you hear my voice say if there's a man to pray there's a god to answer if there's a man to pray there's a god to answer if there's a man to pray there is a god to answer the bible says and this woman was a widow now the enemy has come to take a son there was nothing left because the bible calls it an only, an only son so these are powers we call the powers of the emptiers their duty is to empty now chapter 2 verse 2 talks about them in nahum chapter 2 verse 2 their duty is to empty the bible says, for the lord has turned away the excellency of jacob as the excellency of israel for the emptiers have emptied them out and mad their vine branches meaning these powers their duty is to empty there are people they look at their life now they are empty don't forget what Naomi said in the book of Ruth he says I went out full I came back empty Naomi returned back to Bethlehem empty he went to the Moabite territory but when he returned back to Bethlehem she returned back empty there's a power that wants to empty believers that wants to empty you as a human being that wants to empty you as a child of god you are still a family of seven children there is no one standing empty 50 years of living 45 years of living 60 years of living empty there is nothing that is working we're going to pray every power that has emptied men your assignment in my life is terminated the power that empties men your assignment in my life is terminated begin to share this link now somebody has to stop the works of the devil in their life this is the best gift you can give to your friend the best gift you can give to your brother the best gift you can give to your co-worker somebody has to stop the manipulations of hell in their life say my father my father, my father, my father. in the name of jesus, name of jesus. As, I begin to pray, as i begin to pray that power that empties men that, that, that power that empties destiny the time is up i terminate you in my life they put your mouth on fire prayer
says and when the Lord saw her verse 13 when the Lord saw her he had compassion he had compassion he had compassion God is a God of compassion I'm going to pray that Lord have compassion on me show me compassion I've entered the new month of April show me compassion he had compassion he had compassion God is a God of compassion in Mark 1 verse 14, we see what the Bible says, that he was moved with compassion. He was moved with compassion. Romans chapter 9 verse 15, God says, I we have compassion on whom I we have compassion, I we have mercy on whom I we have mercy. Oh God, this month of April, show me compassion. This month of April, show me compassion. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. 
Shout it louder. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. Let the devil hear your voice. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. In this month of April. Show me compassion. Show my family compassion. Show my family compassion. Show my siblings compassion. Show my love and compassion. Open your mouth and fire prayer. without numbers are you believing God for a miracle are you believing God for a testimony in your body in your job in the life of a loved one you can get their photographs if you cannot reach out to them if you can reach out to them share this let them be online now because I'm about to pray the Bible says in Job chapter 9 verse 10 that God does wonders without numbers in other words God wants to give you miracles that you cannot count Job 9 verse 10, the KJV says he does wonders without numbers. He does wonders without numbers. God is a God that does miracles without numbers. 
That's what this translation says. It does wonders without numbers. So God is a God. Bring other translations. God is a God of miracles. The Bible says we will never comprehend all the great things He does. His miracles, His miracle surprises can't be counted. So what God wants to give to you is uncountable miracles. We do not understand the great things He does. And to His miracles, there is no end. So what God does is miracles without end. And I want to pray for you. You are believing God for a miracle. The Bible says here, marvelous, wondrous things without numbers. God does wonders without numbers. Are you believing God for a miracle? Are you believing God for a testimony? Right where you are, if you are sick in body, I command that sickness to go. I rebuke that disease. Cancer disappear. Fibro disappear. I command that delay in your marriage I command it to end I decree you will get married that bad news you got from your job I cancel it right now let another mail be sent to you a mail of apology I see the hand of God you are breaking out I see somebody your name is Remy Amusu Amusu that's what I'm hearing God says, I should tell you that the evil yoke that the enemy put on your head, the heaviness on your life is lifted. God says, I should tell you, Remy and Muzu, God says, I should tell you that all those that have conspired against you, that keep fighting you, anytime you get close to a breakthrough, something negative happens. That experience is over. I see a woman, your children have sickle cell. God says, right now, is changing their genotype. There's a miracle going on. Someone is carrying a pregnancy. And for months, the baby stopped kicking. The doctor said that the baby should be evacuated. But you said no. Right now, that baby is coming back to life. I hear somebody by the name Owens. In Malbong, Owens, I see God telling me, He said, I should tell you that prosperity, a financial testimony, is about to hit you. You are going to have a financial testimony. God will send someone to bless you. There's somebody by the name of Joy. I see your sister in prison. God is saying in 24 hours she is free there's a miracle going on everyone with disease there's somebody who have a problem with the right hand you can't move it healing is flowing 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 begin to send a testimony if I mention your case send a testimony to the, the mail there's going to be a mail a mail you send a testimony and also and also a text message to the numbers there a testimony somebody's been healed of a lump in the breast I command the lump to go 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 let that lump disappear let that lump disappear in the name of Jesus I rebuke I rebuke the spirit of delay you have a brother you have not heard from him for 12 years as soon as this meeting is over this prayer meeting is over you are hearing from him there's a testimony there's a testimony there's a testimony somebody has growth at the back of his head they were Operated it, but it grew again. They operated it, it grew again. Right now, I command that growth to disappear. That growth to disappear. Be free. Be free. I command all blood condition, all blood disease, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree. Wherever you have been summoned for evil, I reverse it. I reverse it. I reverse it. In the name of Jesus. 
I decree Je wonders without number. Wonders without number. God will give you miracles that you cannot count. On the left, miracles. On the right, miracles. All around you, miracles. Wonders without numbers. That is your portion. In the name of Jesus. It is done. I'm going to be with you again tomorrow. I'll see you by this time tomorrow. Please tell someone if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Enough is enough. It's time to reclaim that which God has given to you that the enemy stole. It's climb time to get back your full potential. It's time to get back your full inheritance. Your beauty has to manifest. You have taken too much nonsense from the devil, and that nonsense must stop. That nonsense must stop. That nonsense must stop. In your life, that nonsense must stop. That nonsense must stop. That nonsense must stop. That nonsense must stop. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. GMT. Don't forget, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. God bless you. Life! For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 year. She's walking. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. There's a man to pray. There is a God to answer. <laughs> Early morning prayer to make you die. Say, my father, my father. A moment of healing and warfare. If there's a man to pray. Wonders without number with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. The Lord told me.